My dear friend at Lighthouse, Pastor Rini and Pastor Jennifer, as well as the Lighthouse President, thank you for this uh, opportunity that uh, the Lord has given us to just share a very short exhortation to all of you. And before I start sharing the dissertation to you, I just uh, introduce my family to you. This is Lam Sun, uh, Daniel, and oh. Jemima. Thank you. You can go and have your place. Today I would like to share a very short uh, exhortation to all of you. Uh, the topic of this sharing is uh, uh, God is in control of all things. God is in control of all things. It is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 56, verses 3 to 4. Psalm 3 to 4. Let me read for all of you. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise. In God, I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can mere men do to me? You know, the title of this sharing is God is in control of all things. God is in control of all things. King David wrote this psalm when he had been sized by the Palestine in Gath. We can see in 1 Samuel 21 verses 10 to 15. David shows that he was afraid. What was King David afraid of? Why was the king afraid? King David afraid. He afraid of the enemies who were surrounded him. Actually, David was a very brave and courageous man. You know, in the past experience, no one in the whole Israel, in the whole country of Israel, no one dared to fight again the Philistine, the giant Goliath. But David did dare to fight and he used only five pieces of stones. He is a truly man of faith and a courageous man. We are, always, we are not always strong. Sometimes we are weak because we are just only a mere man. We are human beings. Likewise, David, the same manner. Many times he was a brave and courage man, but sometimes he also weak like you and me. We need each other. We need to pray for each other. We need to encourage each other. We need partnership for the work of the kingdom of God. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 tells us, two are better than one. The interesting part of King David's life was whenever he is afraid, he always put his trust in the Lord. Fear or afraid is not a weakness. When you fear or when you are afraid of something, it makes us humble ourselves and we can fully trust in God. We need God. During the hard moments that King David faced, he just put his trust in the Lord. He never trusts in his own ability, his experience, his might, but he just only put his trust in God alone. Why could he put his trust in the Lord? In David's life once again, God is always with him to overcome the bear who came to attack his ship when he was a young man. He defeated Goliath just with the five pieces of stones. David did have these special experiences because he was always spending his time with the Lord. He had a very close intimacy with God, his creator. I strongly believe that as you and I walk closer with the Lord daily, we can see his miracles, his mighty works in our midst. We don't fear. We don't afraid of anything. When we fear, when we are afraid of something, that means we lose our focus to God. 
because you know I just uh, want to draw your attention to certain names of our Lord in the Bible in the book of uh, Old Testament normally seven names of our Lord first of all the name of our Lord is Jehovah Chire God who provides he always provides for what we need another name for him Jehovah Rapha God who heals he heals the lands who heal the sicknesses, who heal the brokenhearted. He is a healer. Jehovah Shama, God has prison or is prison everywhere. He is with you, He is with me, He is with every one of us, the believers everywhere. He is Jehovah Shalom. As you know, normally people greet each other by the word Shalom. Shalom means peace. Our Jehovah, our God is a God of peace. Jehovah Nisi, our God is a God of our banner. He is the victor. He wins over everything. Another name of the Lord is Jehovah Ra. The Lord is our shepherd. He is the only great shepherd of our souls. We are just his sheep. We don't know where to go. We don't know what to do. When we are in trouble, we need our great shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is always care for us. He left the 99 sheep in order to find one sheep, which is lost, which is you and I sometimes. We are losing in the place where we are supposed not to lose. God is with us, but we forget. But still, He is our great shepherd, he looks for us, He cares for us, He protects us and feeds us and prepares food for us. You can see in the book of Psalm 23, the Lord, our Lord, is a great, our good shepherd. Finally, Jehovah Shikinu, Shikinu, that means God is the righteousness. Our Lord is the Lord of the righteous God. My dear friends, to believe in God, to be his followers, to be his disciples, not only in good times, but also in bad times. We should, or we had to, pick up the cross and follow him faithfully till the end of our lives. We cannot just only fo follow him, trust in him in a good time, when everything seems good to us. When you face temptation or trial, or these critical times, hard time, COVID-19 is the time that you must show your faithfulness, show your faith in Him. Please take these critical times to pray, to read the Bible, to know Him more, to worship Him, spend more time with Him, and spend more time with your family to nurture one another up, to build one another up, in the faith of the Lord. Church is not just a building, but the body of Christ. You know, nowadays, most of the churches in the whole world, we cannot gather together in a building, but we are in the different places. But each one of us as the body of Christ is a time that we show our love toward Him, our reverence, our respect, our sincerity toward Him more faithfully than ever before. Let me end with the two verses of the scriptures. First of all, Psalm 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yes, my friend, the Lord is your light and your salvation. You should not fear anyone. The Lord is your stronghold. To whom shall you be afraid of? And another verse is Psalm 46 verse 10. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. You know nowadays a certain thing happens. I believe and you also believe that God is in control of all things. He allows certain things happen with the purpose even we don't know the purpose, but all the purpose is for your own good. Maybe sometime you might forget the Lord, 
when we live in a comfort zone, when we live in this peaceful place, and you cannot understand God that He is with us in time of trouble, in any situation, He is your Lord and your God. May the Lord help you to overcome this situation of fear, fear of losing job maybe, fear of hell being infected with COVID-19. Our Lord Jesus has overcome everything already for us, such as pain, suffering, sins, and death. Especially this week is the Easter day. May the Lord, the resurrection Lord, have a power over sins and death. Give this power to you that you never fear of anything, but you just only trust and obey Him. May God bless all of you. Thank you.